Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP specialized in SharePoint. In this video, we are going to discuss how to change SharePoint Online modern site theme as well as we will see how we can create a custom theme using SharePoint Online modern theme generator. So basically apart from that also we will see other things like uh, how we can change the logo, layout, background color uh, and then we will also see how we can use PowerShell to uh, remove a SharePoint Online modern theme and uh, we will see how we can uh, also get all the uh, modern site themes and uh, also we will see the uh, the best practices for the SharePoint site logo all these things we will check here so without further delay what we will do is uh, we will open uh, my SharePoint site so okay if you are interested for SharePoint training then I have various training courses you can have a look at this and if you are interested you can send me an email on uh, on hello at the red SharePoint uh, sky.com or you can send an email to hello at spguides.com so i'll prefer you will send an email to hello at spguides.com now this is a uh, sharepoint site uh, you can see here by default this is a modern sharepoint online site and uh, here we will change the sharepoint theme so what does meaning by sharepoint theme first of all so your theme will give an uh, easy way where you can change the look and feel of the site so you you can give a professional style uh, for your sharepoint site like your sharepoint logo color background color uh, this kind of things and uh, so basically your site site owners can uh, have the option where they can change it uh, they can apply various custom uh, themes on this and uh, the, uh, the good thing is that Microsoft provide options where you can create custom themes as well if you are not um, if it is not coming to a business requirement then you can create your one now by default a SharePoint provides various uh, themes on on the SharePoint online site like there will be a theme for blue orange red purple or uh, gray color green color um, similarly there will be a dark uh, dark yellow dark blue like this so where you can see all these things so uh, if you will go to and you can open any SharePoint online modern site so remember I'm going to show here on the SharePoint modern site uh, it has a little different on when you will try in the classic SharePoint site but this is a modern site so you can click on this settings icon or the gear icon and then uh, when you will come here there is an option which is saying that change the look so once you click on change the look then you have two options here uh, theme and header so you can click on this theme in this case and you can see here these are the themes so these are the out of box themes that microsoft has provided provided for this uh, sharepoint online so you can select any theme for example you will select this uh, green one and then uh, they just save you can scroll down and you will be able to see the save button here so you can save it so you can see here i'll just click on save and uh, then the theme has been changed now to uh, uh, the the uh, green color so you can see here the logo the button everything is coming like green color you can see here now um, the other way next thing is you can actually customize the theme even so for example uh, if I will go back again to our uh, uh, theme so change the look and then you can see here header and then this is what is our theme is selected now so you can click on customize and then you can actually change the color and then main color and the ascent color so you can change these colors as well so if you want you can change this so this way quickly you can customize uh, this theme on uh, on this uh, SharePoint online site now uh, there is also uh, another way that you can change the header thing so uh, th that is basically the layout that you can change header layout so if you go to change the look then you can see here there is an option which is saying an arch header so you can see here so when you will change it actually you will see the option where it's saying a standard uh, so you can see here by default this is the standard layout but if I'll select the compact lookout, you can see here the logo got small and then this this space becomes little uh, crunchy um, and you can see here now it is becoming little uh, bigger on this. Now 
next we will see how we can change uh, the logo so the logo is quite important for any organization this defines your company uh, what this site you are using so you can able to know from the logo itself so it it, it defines your brand uh, what is your uh, the site all about so you can change this uh, logo so uh, if i'll actually show you uh, just i'll inspect here and then uh, you can if i'll just take the cursor here you can see here it is saying 64 to 64 pixel so actually if you if you want to use this much logo then you can use this but little uh, uh, if i will let me just uh, upload a logo and that is definitely not 62 or 64 into 64 so we will see how exactly that is appearing so click on change and it will give you an option where you can select the logo i'll select sp guide here this is a logo and you can see here now um, uh, you can see here how it is appearing now it is, it is looking perfectly fine in our uh, site but only thing is it just little uh, right side it just moved this this portion so you can see here how it is appearing now click on save save button and uh, then you can see here the logo has been changed and then uh, not like uh, the 64 bit 64 by 64 it is a different uh, size logo and then if i'll just exactly show you uh, now you can see here now it is 192.49 so this was actually not 49 it was i think 85 or something and then it is actually uh, just adjusted the uh, width and the height as well for this so make sure when you are actually creating a logo you, you should not take a very big one because even if you microsoft will or the sharepoint will try to adjust then it will uh, the image might blur a little bit so make sure you you can put a uh, uh, a particular size on this and uh, next if you want to change the background there's also another way you can change uh, the site uh, logo there's that you can go to the site information and then you can see here 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 also you have the option where you can change the site logo apart from changing the site name description all these things now next uh, we will see how we can change the background color so you can see here i'll go to change the look and here is the header and then you can see here this is the background color that you can change so you can see here you, if you look at this person you can see here changing if i'll make it to green you can see here now here it is the background color of this header person has been changed you can see here it is now a full green color now we will see how we can create a custom theme in sharepoint online uh, using the sharepoint online theme generator tool so that is that is basically a tool where you can uh, generate or we can create the theme and once we deploy that through power cell uh, it will appear over here so uh, in this theme it will appear uh, that theme will come our custom theme will come here now for that uh, i'll put the url for this so in the video description you can have a look at this also uh, this url and here you can see in this case what it is happening is uh, your primary color text color and background color these three colors basically that you will change and you can change to anything so for example i will take this one or you can take this one and uh, then you can see your text color you can take anything and uh, then the background color you can take or something as well you can see here i can take the background color let's say this one uh, like this you can take or you can take a slightly blue one you can see here now you, you have uh, changed it so once you have this then you can see an option which is saying export theme so once you click on export theme you can see here there's an option of, there is a where you can you have this uh, code so go to this uh, power cell option and you can see this is basically the color has been uh, there in this in this array and uh, this is what we require so um, you have to copy this and then we will use power sharepoint online management cell so i have used here i'll open my powershell uh, windows powershell iac basically uh, you can see here windows powershell iac i'll open an uh, administrator mode i can see here but make sure you have to install sharepoint online management cell once you install this then only you will be able to uh, use sharepoint online management cell inside your windows powershell as well so once you have this let me uh, just copy this uh, this is the command that we need to execute i'll explain this 
so now basically if you are familiar with uh, the other video where i have explained how we can connect to sharepoint online site from uh, your sharepoint online management cell then this is the uh, command connect hyphen spo service url and this is my sharepoint online admin center url and then credential so this will take my credential then this is the theme name that i have provided so uh, for example in this case if you'll see here i have provided ts info and then uh, this is what is the uh, things that will copy here now for example in this particular case let me copy from here so i'll just copy everything from here whatever we selected here and uh, then i'll come back here and i will paste it here so you can see here let me just do a control z here i will put like this and uh, i don't need these things you can see here this is what is required so we did this and then uh, add hyphen spo theme is the command which will take the theme and then uh, uh, this is what you have to pass whatever the uh, palette that we have created and then uh, 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 then if you don't want to override then you can override false else you, if you will not pass anything that it will, it will actually override the theme if you have anything now i will run this so once i run this it will ask take the credential and it is asking me putting the password so I'll put the password here and I'll click on OK. So once you click on OK, uh, now you can see here, now it is executed successfully. So if I'll go back to my SharePoint online site, I will just refresh once this site. And uh, then I will go to the uh, site settings, sorry, we'll go to the change the look. So you can see here settings icon, change the look and then theme and you can see here this is our theme ts info i'll select this i'll click on save so you can see here it has been changed so whatever we have selected that uh, the color and everything has been changed here it, you can see here so the other uh, uh, thing that we can do here is let me uh, uh, we can also remove this theme for example we don't require this theme uh, the one way is uh, you, i can select another theme so for example i will select let's say this one uh, you can see here i just saved it uh, but this theme but our custom theme will be there here so if you we'll go here you can see here our custom theme is there so if you want to delete it then we can use the command here so i'll just take it and i will just put it here so if you are if you are looking out for the script then uh, i will put the url of i have written a, an entire blog post for the same so you can uh, get it from the video description i'll put the url there you will get all this command step everything now here also uh, this is simple uh, command as usual the last one so only remove ip and spo theme and you need to provide the theme name which will uh, which will uh, remove this theme so make sure that you have Again, for this command also, it is a SPO command, so you have to install SharePoint online management cell. So I'll run this, and then again, it is asking me for the password, so I will just uh, put my password here. And uh, you can see here, it should execute successfully, you can see here. Now I will go here, I will refresh this. So I'll refresh the site, and then I'll go to the same place so you can see here just loading i'll go to the settings and change the look theme and you can see here that theme is not there so this is how you can also create and remove a custom theme from the sharepoint online um, site modern site basically this will not work the same way in classic site this is applicable for the modern sites and then this is what the sharepoint online uh, uh, this tool uh, theme builder tool which you can use to create our theme also so if you like the videos uh, kindly subscribe to our youtube channel you will get a lot of free videos on sharepoint office 365 power apps power bi flow spfx all these things and then it is our our websites twitter handles linkedin and facebook pages so do like and subscribe to our youtube channel thank you and have a nice day